What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow. If you're excited for this episode, hit the like button down below and subscribe for daily content on this channel down below, my Twitch channel and my Discord down below as well. Get involved in both of those. Discord announcement coming soon about the schedule. I'm not percent certain what it's going to be now and hopefully it all works out. So today's player we're looking at is Arsen Zakarian. Probably even not completely wrong, but we go with it. A Russian centre mid or AMC uh, who has got a potential rating of 170 in the range of 170 I think it is so I've set this to 170 so you see what the maximum rating is uh, potentially obviously if you get if you say it will be a different range based on just random random randomness of the game so I've set it to the maximum we can do so you get this the first version possible for him so I've done some sky reports on a sky report on him for you as well one star current ability in this case four star potential maybe five star potential again we don't really focus too much on these attributes here because they can normally can change quite quickly the one I'd say is pretty key, nice to see is fairly consistent performer so his player traits got none his reason on his left foot and very strong on his right foot uh, he starts to stand out, I guess his physical looks great, I think that's going to be a really good attribute for him. Great natural fitness and dribbling, finishing first touch and long shots are interesting as well. Obviously 17 years old, can you sign him in the first season? Dubious. You might not get in the first season, uh, but obviously he has signed new contracts in basically pretty, pretty soon. So you can try and sign guys, but the, the cost is not much at all based on my scout reports. I've got the game against the now in a minute, and this is a red card. Um, okay, uh, so yeah, um, first jump. Let's go. All right, folks. So 20 years old now. The first jump, not much increase. Physicality's got a bit higher. New player trait runs ball for the centre, but slowly developing quite nicely. Um, I think this is now a key moment in his development. Will he kick on from this point? If he gets a move on more football, his injury record is still is pretty good. Nothing to concern me. Career stats, as you can see here, in and out of the team, 4 and 2 in the senior team there, and then 3 and 2. So he's been in and out of the team, but he's quite young, so I wouldn't expect a lot of first team football around right now. Contract, you mentioned there's a £20.5 million release clause in his contract, so with that in mind, if you're going to try and sign this guy, you may have to pay a release clause if you don't get him early on. But yeah, looks like a really nice player. Nothing really standing out as which role I'd play him in yet, MC or midfield central. But maybe as he gets a bit older, in his mid twenties, we'll see that kind of opinion kind of form up when we see what we, when we see how we develop. So, next jump, let's go. All right, folks. Straight away, as you can see here, what I thought would happen has happened. The physicality has really gone up a level now. We've got new player traits. Runs the ball for centre, knocks the ball for opponent, rises in penalty area, staying. We can. I think it's an AMC based on those player traits there. Good vision, good t composure. Good dribbling, first touch, technique, passing and long shots. Love the physicals as well. Injury record, not too bad. Pretty pleased with that myself, don't have a problem with that. So has he been getting the first team a lot more recently? Yes, he has. 3 and 7, 7 and 4, 8 and 6, 9 and 7. And you can see they're playing him more. Obviously he's reached his potential because we made sure he gets that potential. And you can see here that he's really kicking on. Now then, the question is, we leave Russia and go to another European league and do the same there? Well, I think he, I think he could, but there's only one way to find out if he will. All right, folks, he's 27 years, <clears throat> 27 years old now and relatively the same stats, um, being quite consistent. No new player traits. He's at the did now for £65 million. Pounds. Uh, injuries, Again, not a concern for me. I don't have any problems with those injury stats at all. So how did he do at Moscow before Leicester? 8 and 6, 9 and 7, then obviously moved on for £23.5 million to Let's Go Madrid. Um, first season got 7 and 8, then 5 and 9, and 9 and 5. Again, I think it could be a case of getting him out of Dynamo Moscow earlier. Um, I think at 20 years old, get him then and build him up. I think if he gets that high potential, which of course... You won't know. Um, I've set it to high potential, but I think he could still be good even if you don't get the 170 rating for him. There's more out of him, certainly, I believe. Uh, I think that those four years where he's been stuck in Russian League might be what we're seeing, not quite as increasing technical abilities. But he's still knocking dual figures total for goals contributions, so 9 and 5, obviously, dual figures. 
I want to see if you can get double figures for goals or assists in one season in, in, a, in a La Liga or Serie A or Premier League if it moves on. Let's find out. All right, so again, relatively similar stats, nothing really increasing. Um, a few new player traits here, of course, which moves and channels, close ball, definitely an AMC. Injuries, I don't, I, don't, I don't anticipate the problem. Yeah, not injury prone at all. Good positive for him. So look at it here. Let's go on Jady got 7 and 8, then 5 and 9, 9 and 5, 8 and 12, 12 assists that season, 7 and 9, and then 10 goals, 8 assists. So regularly getting dual figures for goals and assists. He's not overly expensive as well. 23.5 million pounds. Could be less if you can get him first season. Obviously, it was dubious, but you made the fucking mount to it. I'd say get this guy early because um, I think getting him at 20 years old, assuming he's got to this highest potential rating, there's more definitely in him than we've, than we've seen here but he's not a bad player at all is it he's very he's very very good um for the price and the physicality and the extra potential i think you can, you can get out of him if you sign yourself i think he's well worth uh, a look at in your seat in your in your side so if you've enjoyed this episode, I hope you have. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well for daily content. And hit the notification button as well. It does help our channel with you when you like the videos. Also, the notification button. Make sure you don't miss a video. Uh, Discord down below and Twitch down below as well. Get involved in those. And I'll catch you all in the next episode. If you want to get your player featured in Discord, the section there where you can make a request. And I'll look at him. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.